Hey, man. Happy. What's good? What day is it today? Saturday. The sixth. The sixth. It's Saturday. I'm supposed, be, I'm supposed to be moving today. You're supposed to be moving. Is, yeah. Is that a forced move or is that a is that a looking forward to move? Uh, not really sure to be honest. Because it's not a definite move. Oh, okay. What's the story? I don't like moving houses. Solo or family? Family. So how how come you're not supposed to like? What is it? What does that mean? He might like want to stay there. You never know. How am I depressed? I oh, I still. I, well, it's okay. So to, uh, honest is two things. One, I worked out just before this, and it was the longest forty-four minutes of my life. Cause I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing like setups and stuff, and I'm just like, ah, I hate this. Ah, I want to quit. And then it's like side crunch. My neck hurts so much. <laughs> so it was a combination of that, and um, and so I'm actually on a legal. I'm here just to to listen to people who are not feeling the best, maybe, especially with this whole coronavirus thing. I feel like people need more. I don't know if you can see on my shirt, but people need more belong now more than ever. Because that's what I've struggled with my whole life. My pleasure, man. Where do you feel like you belong the least? Right now. Yeah. Where do you... And you said right now you don't belong right now. Is that what you said? I don't know. Oh, fair enough, man. For me, like, belong is just acceptance from, like, friends and family and myself. Okay, man. Listen, good luck. I hope the uh, the, the move is, is going to be... It's going to happen, and in some way you, it's going to be awesome, or it's not going to happen, and you have to do less shit today. All right. Peace out, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing well, bud. How are you? I'm doing, uh, I could be better, but I'm doing pretty good. Okay, fair enough. Looks like you're dancing. Yeah, and singing. Nice. I'm a dance instructor, actually. Oh, for real? Yeah, well, I teach salsa and bachata. Have you ever heard of either of them? I'm happy, but I'm also sad. Because I like to smile, but the sex was bad. And I said, can I see you later? She said, I hope it's just the nature. How's it going? Guys? Happy Monday. Oh, shit. Hi. I like him. <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> I'm on a you sound like you're being a YouTuber. I, I, I feel like a YouTuber? You look like a YouTuber. You sound like a YouTuber. That's amazing. How do, how do YouTubers look like? Like, like you. Hi, what's up, guys? Uh, hold on, oh, I'm getting a phone. Awesome. It's my mother. It's my mother. It's my mother. Shh. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Okay, okay, okay. Forever yell that. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have been quiet. Maybe we should have been quiet yeah. that moment, right? Exactly. It's my I'm fault. Not a YouTuber. Um, I mean, uh, I'm trying to just spread belong on Omigo. What's know. that? Belong, it's, it's a tattoo on my hand too. Belong. So belong is like acceptance. Like, you yeah. know, we'd all, feel, we'd all feel better if we felt like we were accepted by our friends and family. I don't feel like I belong anyway. Fair but enough. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, do you feel like you belong with her? No pressure on her. On you. Mm, we're really different. I love you. You know that, but we're yeah. really different. We're like the opposites. Complete opposites. Actually, that not the not that's not even a bad thing because the belong is like you not having to pretend to be someone you're not so do you feel like you have to pretend to be someone you're not with her mm, i don't no i can be myself with her but sometimes wait why is this like a therapy lesson it's, <laughs> not a therapy, it's, a question. it's just a question 
I do feel like I can be myself with you, but sometimes it's like, I can't always like because I don't want you to judge me because you're completely different. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm not going to judge you. That's just like if I do something, you always say something mean. So I do. I don't say anything mean about you. I just call you goth. <laughs> See, she calls me. I'm not goth. <laughs> you might find else because that's from something. Okay, I guess because well, I don't know what they are really. Like, you know, she thinks it's because I wear black eyeliner, eyeliner and clothes that I'm goth all of a sudden. Fair enough. Well, so here's 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 the fun thing. We can do all three of us can do this. I, I've done this. Uh, let's all share one truth, and I'll start. I'll lead by example. One truth. I'm scared. One truth. Now, whatever you want, doesn't matter what it is. But one truth and about what about yourself that most people don't know, including your friends. So I'll share. I mean, obviously, there's nothing you know about me. You know much about me. Okay, go. Right. You go first. So, so uh, I mean, I'm I'm a, okay. Uh, Two weeks ago, I discovered I have ADHD, and I was discovered late, late in my life. And Aww. so my whole life, I've been struggling. I didn't know that was the problem. I thought I was lazy and unmotivated and, and just not focused. And two weeks ago, I found out since I was like 13, probably 12, that I've been struggling with it. And it's been the best gift ever because now I Because I guess start- now you know, like... Yeah, like and, you know that. Stop blaming myself that I'm slow or I'm stupid or 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 why am I just if I could just if I could just stick with one thing, then my life would be better. Where it's like, no, my brain, my brain, my brain has a special trait. My brain doesn't work the same way. And I have to embrace that and try to use that as a superpower. So that's two weeks ago Aww. I just discovered that about myself I'm happy for you and and here's the hardest part and thank you I told my mom two weeks ago Mm -hmm. and she's still and it's all love but she has a hard time coming accepting it yeah because she's worried she's like I don't want you to put labels on yourself I don't want you to be depressed I don't want you to make this a whole thing about you and it's all it's all deep down just her own worries and securities and yesterday I'm talking to her on the phone and I'm sending her these YouTube videos. I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing all this research, like, you know, adults with this and struggles. And she said to me, she's like, okay, listen, I, I don't want you to, to dig too deep. I don't want you to go too de- far down this rabbit hole. And I'm she doesn't want you to worry. Yeah. She doesn't want you to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. And, 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 but I got defensive. I got oh. defensive. Yeah, I got defensive. And I'm like, mom, I'm like, I don't need, like, like, I just need you to listen to me. I don't need help. I don't need advice. I'm like, I'm really understanding this and I'm empowering myself. And we were back and forth. I started snapping. I started snapping. You get mad. And I stopped myself and I said this. She's only worrying about you. You don't yell at her. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute. You just answered your phone with your mom and you're like, bye. (laughs) (laughs) Well, but she was yelling at me. So I was in the opposite one. so, so here's here's the thing. I stopped myself and I caught myself and I'm like, Mom, you know what? You're just not where I am of how much I've accepted this and I love you. And I know you're trying to help me. But this mm-hmm. is a struggle with you. And I'm realizing this is not a struggle with me. It's her most struggling to with herself accept. as a mother. Like, that she failed. Yeah. Me, that she couldn't protect she me. Did. Me. She thinks she did. Yeah, she did. Well, she, of course she did it. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't blame her at all for this. So that's my truth. That's a big truth. But that's my truth. And it, so what? I don't know any, anything. Any, I don't know anything. Any one thing you I have cursed. Um, I don't know anything. So I'm she know. knows a lot of me, though. But, like, I feel like I'm biased. Oh, right. She Wait. knows I'm biased. But since I've came out, I feel like you get scared to, like, even talk about it or anything because I feel like you get really she gets really awkward if I bring it up or anything she like well like I can't give her a hug she'll push me away no yes you do that I, I don't think you notice that you do it I will never ever try anything with you Tiara I know you are a friend but she gets pretty nervous around me sometimes and I see it yeah. and then it makes me feel awkward yeah oh <laughs> wow I've never wanted to tell you that <laughs> I don't know anything Come on, your turn. Tell me anything. We're waiting. Okay. <laughs> Red thing. <laughs> Come on. We won't judge you. Well, it's not like about me though. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. So like the other day we're having like a dinner and that. Mm-hmm. And like I didn't didn't notice at all. But you know how like I don't really speak to my dad and stuff. 
But yeah, like I found out like she did like all this stuff because of it. And like, yeah, I found out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you. Thanks for that. My 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 pleasure. Have a good rest of your day. You, you do. I'll, I'll, so I, want, I wanna. I, I'm about to. I, I'm about to head out. I want to share one something something really really beautiful with you. What you just experienced. Um, there's this woman. She talks about vulnerability as a strength. And she what she said is two types of vulnerability in sign language. So you know sign language, right? American sign language. I don't yeah. know it, but there's two. So the first, oh, oh, there we go. The first sign for vulnerability is this, and this means weak in the knees. You know what the second vulnerability sign is? What? And so that's vulnerability. It's being able to show up and open yourself. So like open yourself up. Open yourself mm -hmm. up. Open yourself up with the people that will be like, "Hey, you're enough as you are, and I love you." And so it was really nice to see, and thank you for listening to me. Uh, she's crying. No, you should be. no, listen. <laughs> Give her a hug. It's good to cry. I will. Is, I love no, you, Kiki. But this is important. Life is hard. And the hard part, when you're going through it, is the isolation. And, like, there's no one that can understand you. You're not alone. You're not alone. You know that, right? And so, and so thank, you. thank you. Thank you, girls. I hope you meet some wonderful people and hope just, like, oh. blossoming Wait, you come up closer to the camera. She's in tears. Yeah, it's okay to cry. <laughs> hey, look, 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 Here's a hug. Here's a hug. There's a hug right there. Oh, he hug. gave you a hug. Hey, you should become a public speaker. You're pretty good at that. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Listen, this is what this is why I think this is why I think it's important. You sharing your truth with her about how you may feel even if it's even if it's accurate or not or in your head if she still can hug you and embrace you in that is love and vulnerability and strength and i think that the more we develop that just the world becomes a better place and i'm about to cry from it because since i was 13 i've struggled like i don't feel accepted and i'm 33 we now. accept you Sorry? <laughs> we accept you. Thank you, girls. Thank you, girls. You're I, welcome. I love you both. Good luck. You, you both have beautiful you journeys. And, um, thank you. He's so sweet. Have a great night, okay, uh, girls? Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.